Tony Romo passed the torch to Dak Prescott in 2016 because Romo was injured and unable to play and Prescott took that baton and sprinted with it already one of the best quarterbacks in franchise history but a very storied history of some great quarterbacks Chris and who do you have at the top of your list all time for Cowboys quarterbacks well I, I, I gotta put ugh, man I don't know I mean I, I I'm so I love Troy Aikman I grew up in you know Troy Aikman prime time you know as far as the Dallas I was 12 years old when the Cowboys won their first Super Bowl and I just went wow and my dad was coming to the end of his career and I looked at this guy Troy Aikman and I said uh he kind of looks like a de facto dad to me. I think I'll jump on his bandwagon and start rooting for him. So, you know, again, Aikman is never going to be viewed as like one of the all-time best quarterbacks ever because his numbers aren't big and gaudy that way. But like we talked about with the Dak Prescott, was asked to play a style of football that's not necessarily quarterback friendly. And uh, I love me some Troy Aikman, you know, and I say that knowing Roger Staubach is pretty damn awesome too. Well, and Aikman has the three championships. Staubach had two in Dallas, but that team in the 70s, and Staubach was just the guy who was in the middle of it. He didn't have all the other stuff. Now, he right. had plenty of talent around him, and they had yeah. the doomsday defense, but it wasn't that sense that Staubach was just a piece in a bigger machine. Staubach was the machine. Staubach was the guy yes. that made that offense go, yeah, Drew Pearson, yeah, Calvin Hill, yeah, right. they had that offensive line that did the funky stuff where they'd, they'd get set and they'd stand straight up and go back down, and they started using shotgun formation for the first time, first team to use it in years and kind of revolutionize the game. But to me, I always think Staubach as the, as the greatest Cowboy quarterback, that icon when you think of a Cowboys quarterback. And for me, I'm the same idea as you – coming of age, right. paying attention to the NFL. There's Roger Staubach, and he's the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, it's hard to, to change that memory after all these years. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I mean, you know, uh, to put all you old guys together in the same group, I think my dad views it the same way. I mean, whenever I hear him talk about quarterbacks he loved growing up, I mean, Roger Staubach is at the top of that list. But the amazing thing, Mike. You, you got to, you, wait a minute, you got to show this one? What? This had to be included in the B-roll. Oh, the push yeah. off. Oh, there sorry, it is right Vikings. there. Drew sorry. Pearson pushes Nate right to the ground. and Look clean to me. Right, I don't know. Look clean to me. Maybe, I like teams maybe, that can break up. Maybe I'm changing my mind Mary's. about Roger Staubach. <laughs> maybe Gary Hogaboom is the best quarterback in Cowboys history. But wait, isn't Go that's ahead. what's insane? I mean, when, we, when I saw this last night on our rundown, I just, you know, looked up a list of the all-time starting quarterbacks of the Dallas Cowboys, and you go, wow. I mean, talk about – just a cherished franchise with great quarterback play. You know, all the Don Meredith years, and he had Craig Morton, and then Roger Stahlbach. I mean, oh gosh, and then it was Danny White. The struggles of the Danny White years, where they were still in NFC Championship games, and one of the best NFC teams, you know, year in and year out, but just couldn't win the big one. I mean, those were kind of like the bad years for the Cowboys as far as the quarterback position, but then you go Aikman, and I know there's a few years in between before they go to then Tony Romo, and now Remember Dak Quincy Prescott. Carter, right. second round pick on Quincy Carter. Went to Remember the, that? And they went to the playoffs one year with him too, amazingly enough, under Bill Parcells. But really a, a cherished franchise. You see why it's such a special franchise and why they've won. Because for the most part throughout their history, they've had pretty top-notch quarterbacks running, running the offense and, and leading the squad. Ryan Leaf once played for the Cowboys, started three that. games in 2001. Randall Cunningham started three games in 2000. Jason Garrett, the current head coach of the team, has seven starts yeah. for the Dallas Cowboys. Actually, nine starts yeah, for the Dallas he has some Cowboys. Yeah, big ones. Yeah. They've had Bernie Kosar. It's amazing how many guys have been through there. Recognizable names who were great quarterbacks elsewhere. Uh, and the worst, I you know, I, I don't know. Uh, who, uh, the, I'd say, you know, Quincy Carter was a disappointment because of his draft stock. Um, they, they really swung and missed on that one. And, and we would be saying Paxton Lynch if the Broncos hadn't traded up. Think of how different the world would be right now if – if the Broncos hadn't traded up at the bottom of round one in 2016 and the Cowboys had gotten Paxton Lynch, they oh, wouldn't have taken Dak Prescott. Right. Where would they be right now as a franchise? I know. I don't know because uh, it certainly hasn't been the greatest, you know, reports in the world on Paxton Lynch and, and what he's done there in Denver. And I know he's in Seattle now, but you're right. That would have been a total changing uh, or, or culture or everything within the Dallas Cowboys. But gosh, I don't know. I mean, you look at it and just I'm amazed at the years of really good quarterback 
back play. I do look at that like, okay, 2001 to 2004, where it was Quincy Carter, Chad Hutchinson, Drew Henson, Vinny Testaverde, you know, Ryan Leaf, like you talked about, Clint Sterner, Anthony Wright started a few games. That's really the only period of Cowboy football in the history of their franchise, 2001 through 2004, where I look at and go, okay, they were crazy in those years at the quarterback position. Uh, but other than that, they had some guys that could certainly lead an offense and win some games. Drew Henson, you know, we, we think yeah. of him as a Cowboy. He's got one start. I know. As a Cowboy. Right. One. It does. It seems right. like he played more. But, I, you know, Bill Parcells loved him so much. I think we just talked about him more than he actually played. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.